Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for joining me today. It's absolutely beautiful today. We are out on the river and it is just glass. A nice fog running through. It's actually really cool, which is refreshing considering how hot it's been out lately. Anyhow, uh, today I got a really cool bait for y'all. The Depths Bowl Flat. And it has taste and flavor. It kind of smells a bit bleachy to me though. I don't know what kind of flavor that's going to have, but we'll give it a shot. I haven't fished this before, but I have fished this type of bait. And it can it doesn't look like much, but it can be extremely versatile, especially with that sinker. So I'm running a 1 8 ounce sinker on a 2 aught EWG hook, and I just rig that up there like this. And we're going to and work on a couple different retrieves and uh, see what gets me hit but i got a lot of faith in this little bait this color is really really neat too i'm gonna have to look into what color i got because everything on this bait pack is japanese anyhow guys i'm gonna get at it thanks for joining me all right so we just had a boat run by i'll talk while the water's cooling down but this is what we're working with right here that hook up in there it's like I'm working it with like subtle pops and kind of keeping it higher in the water column and then I let it sink and just sit a bit but every time I jerk it around I mean this tail flaps really really cool it has a really nice effect with the weight too that. that's just neat really cool colors I'm so thankful they show up in the water so well this seemed to be a hot spot for us the other morning so See if I should be so lucky today. We are bombing it on our St. Croix Victory. It's a 7-1 medium heavy. Chose that today because I haven't fished it in a while and I really enjoyed this ride. Plus, I figured I'd run a 1-8 to 3-8 ounce with that plastic. I planned on using a bigger creature bait. When I saw these in my bag, I'd been meaning to make an episode with them. And I figured, let's give it a shot. I wasn't too confident, but now I'm feeling a lot better. All right, guys, so I could not get a bite on the river. I stayed out there about a half hour. I generally don't like to stay longer if I'm not getting bit. I know it is early, so, but if I go over there in about an hour or two, I'll be getting bit. Anyhow, hopped over to our marina, took a little stroll, and I'm walking around to the shady side. I'm thinking that might be the money right now. I don't know. Um, give it a shot. Good fish, guys. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Come on in. Feels like a big old drum. I can't see it whatsoever. Oh. Come on. What on earth are you? What on earth are you? I still can't see you. What the heck, guys? Oh, what? Oh my God. What is that? Is that a carp? Oh, dude, look at that beautiful flathead. Oh my goodness. Wow. I have never seen such a beautiful flathead. Hope my rod's all in the water, all up in a tree. Uh, wow. Just wow. Perfect hook set too. Dang, man, I just sank that crone arc. No wonder I couldn't see it. Look at it, guys. Look at it. 
This is absolutely gorgeous. I get a better grip on you there. Oh, wow. Wow. How beautiful. Oh my goodness. First fish, guys. Some catfishing. Catfish master over here. Just kidding. I'm not a good cat fisherman. Let's get this hook out of you. Dude, I'm shaking. As soon as I saw it, it's like I need to land. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of nature to show off to you, my friends, and for myself. Now, let's get you on a big game. All right, my friends, first fish. And absolutely beautiful flathead catfish right there. I'm gonna get him and he's been out for a second. Wow, heck yeah, Debs, thank you for that one. All right, buddy, thank you for being our first. And a rarer one for me. That is the first flathead I've ever caught here. I catch channels here pretty often. Hey, what's up guys? I hope everyone's doing all right out there, uh, no matter whether you're at work or just hanging out at home checking out the video, but I hope you all are doing all right. Had an all right time making the video. Unfortunately, I fell and busted my stuff up. And we got Mars in the house. I'll introduce him real quick, just taking a nap. Now I'm looking out the window, but yeah, so I ended up uh, catching that flat head and I had a couple fish get off. I was kind of struggling for a bite. This time of year can be tough. Uh, this water level can be kind of tough. It's high, but it's slowly decreasing now back to normal. That's when I find I struggle for a bass bite more so than not. Anyhow, I uh, ended up going to a part of the river I'm not familiar with. A lot of overhanging trees, not a lot of area to maneuver or cast. So I wasn't paying attention to my footing and I slipped. I fell, I don't know, I couldn't have been more than, uh, my legs slipping more than eight inches or so, but it was enough to uh, get smacked up pretty bad, like borderline stitches type uh, scenario, but I got it cleaned out real good and uh, I think I'm doing all right now. I definitely rolled it though, it's very, very swollen, so it is what it is, guys. It's unfortunate, but it just goes to show you, I've got to be so careful working riprap like that uh, as a bank angler and probably should wear boots, I think, the next few times I will until uh, I have uh, no longer any kind of slick rocks to stand on. Yeah, but let's get into the bait. So the Depths Bowl Flat, it is a three inch, I guess I would classify it as almost like a creature type bait. You can see it is a JDM bait, it's in Japanese and uh, it has taste and flavor. To me, it smelled like bleach when I smelt it, so I can't imagine uh, how tasty it would be, but apparently the uh, fish liked it, that flathead sure liked it. I'm sure if I was dealing with a better uh, situation of fishing, I'd probably be catching a good amount of bass on it. I'm, I'm confident in this little bait. I would absolutely throw it again. It is durable enough. Um, I reset it a few times, had no issues. The tail has a really, really good action. Just a beautiful, all around beautiful color there. Uh, I thought it was really, really neat. I do have a couple other depth baits that are very, very similar to this. Uh, kind of like flipping baits that I'm looking forward to throwing on the channel. But I uh, really enjoyed it. So I rigged that up on a 2 ot EWG type hook. Uh, 3 ot would work A-OK -okay as well. Uh, 4 would definitely be pushing it. It is a smaller bait. Um, 
I'd say two is probably the magic number. Um, and I rigged that with a one eighth ounce sinker. So at one point I did take off my weight and I threw it weightless and tried to work it like a fluke. And it just didn't work out for me. Um, I did have a rather uh, heavy rod. I had a medium heavy today. Um, this bait probably would thrive with a medium to medium light. I, if I were to do it again, I'd probably throw it on a medium light with a 16th ounce weight, but. Anyhow, I weighted it down and I just popped it off the bottom, swam it, gave it a few pops and swam it, and that's how I was able to generate a strike. That's how I enjoyed working it and I found to uh, be more so productive uh, than other ways of fishing it, such as like a straight retrieve or uh, what have you. So I was using a St. Croix Victory, the Grunt. Um, it is a 7-1 medium heavy fast action rod and it is just a brute of a stick guys it's extremely durable i have fished this rod for a hot minute and put it through hell and back and haven't had any issues i got that paired with a chronarch and i can't find the gear ratio on this reel which is odd uh, i might have scraped it off but i believe it's a seven like a seven one by one probably or whatever seven the chronarch carries but anyhow guys I hope you all enjoyed the video. I had a pretty good time making it. I'm looking forward to getting back out on the water once this kind of sprained, swollen ankle goes down to normal and my cut starts healing a little more. So I'll probably be out Monday, but I hope you all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and get some good fish on, my friends. And uh, I got to say, man, I like this depth space. This is really, really cool. It's unique. It's something I don't fish a lot. I enjoyed it. All right, take care, everybody.